Hello everyone, my name is Will Carmack, and today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tools, the puppet tool. I've been recently making a lot of animations from paintings and photos, and the challenge with these kind of visual effects is bringing still images to life. And there's a lot of amazing animation tools in After Effects, and this one's my favorite. So I have a Ant-Man character I've cut out of myself. Oh, and by the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. And in a previous video I've made, I have me as Ant-Man, like disintegrating as I move. I'm moving as I disintegrate. And I'll just show you with this Ant-Man example here how I do it. And so if we look into After Effects, you can see right here, I have my Ant-Man cut out. At the very top of After Effects, you see the bar with all of the different tool icons. At the very end, you'll see this thumbtack. This is the puppet pool, pool, the puppet position pin tool. Let's click on the thumbtack and you'll notice your cursor is now the thumbtack. Think of this thumbtack like you're creating points where joints would move. For example, if I want his hand to move like this over time, I'll create a point on his hand. And if you see, that's not quite enough because he still moves around randomly. We actually have to create more puppet tool points for anything to happen. So what you need to do is create an anchor around his waist and his feet and his head. And now let's see what happens when we move his arm. You can now see that movement is now isolated between all of those points. Now, if I created another puppet tool like on his wrist and on his shoulder, you'll see where we can move with his hand is now a lot different. So the range of motion is really dictated on where you put all of these different anchors. Cause look, I can make myself look like I have giant thighs and a long wrist or create more points and push that in. So simply with the puppet tool, you can create points that act as joints and levers, fulcrums, whatever, I guess joints. And so, and then when you have your monstrosity right here with all your puppet tool animations, if you hit U to drop down your keyframes, you'll actually see you've created a keyframe every single time that you have created one of these pinpoints. So if you go over in time and you move some of them, I'll show you what happened. And so now as we play it back, you can see how these keyframes work over time. And so this was just a goofy example to show you how the keyframes actually work. I'll redo it properly now. So you would come up to the thumbtack, which is the pin tool. And I just want his arm to wave. And so I'll create a puppet tool on his hand, one on his head and one on each foot. And if I hit U, I can see that I created all of these keyframes that are concreted in time. So if I go to the beginning of this composition and I just grab the puppet tool on his hand, I can bring it back like this. So over time, it looks like his arm is going down. Look at that. And then for example, if you wanna make new keyframes and add movements to your animation, I'll come back to the beginning where all of my first keyframes were. I'll add one on his hand and maybe his shoulder. And then I'll go back to where I created the second set of keyframes, just so all of our keyframes line up and don't get messy and complicated. I'll then grab his hand, move it like that. You'll notice that sometimes you'll create a point that affects more areas than you thought. So in this case, it looks like if I wanna move his hand, I should also create some anchor points around his legs. So when I go back in time and I move his arm, it affects less of his body. It looks like we did. Oh. So now if we look over time, you can see how that animation is affecting him. And as long as you just keep track of all of these keyframes and you add all these positions where a joint could move, you can make this really realistic. Here's some examples of me using the puppet tool in other projects. And bam, um, that's the puppet tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this education and now it's time for me to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform from online stores to marketing tools and analytics. The possibilities are endless and let me tell you about some of them. Squarespace portfolios and galleries. If you want to display your creative work to the world in a professional way, this is probably one of the best options. They already have award-winning designer templates and they have password protected pages that you can use with your clients to keep all of your content secure. So there's already a million reasons why you should use portfolios and galleries on Squarespace. Best thing for artists to share their work. And the next, I think this is incredible that they're doing this, Squarespace member areas. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. And you can use this to leverage your audience insights, manage your members and send email communication from one easy to use platform.
And let's say you want to keep your website tied to your branding or just your social media accounts in general. You can actually connect and link your social accounts to Squarespace. So if you're a rapper on SoundCloud, you can have those SoundCloud links in your website. Great way to cross promote from people coming to your website to the people who want to follow you on social media. It's a win-win for everyone. So go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack to get 10% off your first website or domain. And thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked the puppet tool. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. <laughs> yeah.